46-year-old John Pomeri isn't just the head of security at Lower Conservancy. He is also a trained pilot. But the silver lining in his life story is that in spite of dropping out of school at the age of, or rather at class eight, he never gave up on his purpose at scaring for wildlife. Our very own Dorcas Wangira tells us the story of a journey from a teenager clinging on to a dream to acquiring a pilot's license in his quest to raise awareness and protect endangered species. Take a look. It is often said that a pilot isn't just an aviator, but also an artist in love with flight. For 46-year-old John Pameri, the head of security at the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy, taking to the skies above Kenya's northern rangelands isn't just a job, but purpose, fueled by the passion of a pastoralist who has lived alongside wildlife all his life. Wildlife, they don't speak. People, they speak. I don't think that there's any other job that I will do. There's many other things you can do, but for me, until my life ends, it's about conservation, it's about wildlife, that is my bottom line. But let's take you back to the beginning of his story. In 1990, when he wrote his KCP exam at the Ol Arjuju Primary School in Laikipia, he scored 321 out of a possible 700 marks then in a class of six candidates. He was called to different high schools in Nembu, Meru and Gilgil, but unfortunately... I waited my parents to get me money and then to continue with uh, the secondary level. We didn't really manage to do it, but as a Maasai culture or Maasai community, what they normally say is that when you are done with class eight, that is, uh, that is end of your education. But two years later, in 1992, John decided to change the course of his life. I went across to Lewa Wildlife Conservancy, which I walk 100 kilometers from here. Jian Craig uh, told me that um, they didn't have a job, they didn't have any support in terms of education, but you can come next month and uh, see whether we can get something for you. He had to first volunteer as the sanctuary was expanding, particularly as a guarded black rhino sanctuary. Part of his recruitment test to become a ranger included running for 20 kilometers and carrying poles to test his attitude and physical capability. He was later trained as a ranger and had to master how to use arms. John then rose through the ranks to become an assistant in charge of security. Hey. In 1996, he would also undertake a natural resource management course in South Africa where he excelled with a distinction. The same college they give me a scholarship and I was actually even awarded uh, that I was the best. So Ian Craig, who was the director on that time, he decided me not to do the same course but why don't you go and do the pilot course? I say, yes, uh, why not? I'm really happy to do flying. I'm, I was so proud to hear that. His training began at the Peter Maritzburg Flight Training Center, still in South Africa, with his first solo flight on the 7th February 2012. I did my solo and then I get my license, South Africa license. I came back to Kenya and I went to convert to Kenya license. I get my license and I start flying. Hey, hey, hey. The communities are really proud of me, uh, you know, seeing my life, how I've really grown up uh, as um, a local person from a local community. And uh, at the moment now, I've been to a lot of trips to New York, uh, doing conference uh, meetings, uh, fundraising, and I can really be pushing for other young people to follow my steps. Pomeri is in charge of 87 staff, including field rangers, whose work involves wildlife management, managing human wildlife conflict, security operations and escorts in the conservancy, which stretches the lower landscape in Meru and Isiolo, as well as Borana. It is a heavy task, one which his shoulders can bear. He has been awarded for being critical in helping spearhead development across Lewa's neighboring area. 
The desire to fly, as Wilbur Wright, who co-invented the airplane, said, was handed down by those who looked enviously at birds at full speed soaring above obstacles. Pope Mary, the desire to fly, and his flight of passage was driven by more. I don't have um, university papers, I don't have secondary papers, but I managed to do everything. So I'm really encouraging and I'm really um, telling the young people that let's not be looking things at their end because you didn't really do this. You still need to commit yourself, you need to have your focus, you need to have your vision because you can able to do and you can able to do a lot. Dorka Swangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.